What is up guys, I'm back again with another video. Uh, basically, this is a second part of our beginner friendly Krita tutorial series on which I'm currently working on and today's one what we're going to do is we'll be learning how you can make clean and polished line art for a digital artwork in Krita coming up. So before starting off with the video, I just wanted to mention that if you're new to the channel, you can consider subscribing because I make content related to digital artwork and Krita on weekly basis. And also we are very near to our 1k subscriber milestone. So if you can support me, that will definitely help me a lot. And in case you just want to follow the entire playlist, I will be providing a link in the description. Uh, so yeah, with that said, uh, let's get into it. For this video, what we're going to do is we will be using a 4000 by 4000 canvas. And since we are not using a drawing tablet, we will not be creating the reference art or the concept art for our digital artwork within Krita because it will just make the process a little bit more difficult and complex. So for that, we are using my own artwork. I created it on a paper, then clicked a photo of it in my camera and then imported it in my desktop. So in order to import the concept art, what we're going to do is we'll be going to the layers option. We'll be going to import, export and import as a paint layer. In your case, if you want to use the same image as I'm using, I'll be providing a image on your screen right now. So you can take a screenshot if you want to follow along properly. You can use the transform tool in order to set your concept art at the center of your screen or your canvas. Also keep in mind that this picture is just a sketch and its alignment angles and proportions are not supposed to be properly perfect and completely accurate. So in order to use this image properly as a line art reference, we first have to reduce the layer opacity and now by pressing the right mouse button, uh, we will be selecting the properties option. Obviously in the video, you might not be able to see the properties option because my recording software is recording just a limited area on my desktop window. So, but in your case, if you press right mouse button, you can see it properly just above the layer style option. So after selecting that, go on and untick the active channel, which is the blue one. So untick it. So doing that will give your image a bluish sort of tint in your image. The main reason or the purpose of doing this was to make your reference art pop up a little so that you can easily differentiate between what is your line art and what is your reference art. So now after setting up this reference sketch in order to create a properly proportionate and symmetrical sort of image for our cartoon or whatever character this is, uh, what we're going to do is we'll be using our mirror tool. So for that, just go at the top a column, select it over there and by using your mouse, just place it somewhere at your center of your reference artwork and just start drawing with it. And obviously make sure you are using the correct layer for making your line artwork. Make sure that it's not been done on the reference art. It should be on a separate sort of blank layer. If you want to learn more about layers and their functionalities in Krita, you can uh, stay tuned to my channel because the third part of this video series will be completely based on layer functionalities. So in order to start up with making actual line artwork, you need to understand the various brushes and the usage of various uh, brushes in various situations. So the first brush tool which is provided by Krita is the freehand brush tool which is very basic. Uh, I would recommend you to draw with this if you have a drawing tablet and since we are not working on that, we are not working with a drawing tablet because most of the people who are just starting out as a, a digital artist uh, do not usually tend to have this uh, expensive sort of drawing tablet. For this, I won't recommend you using this free brush sort of freehand brush tool because if you use this tool without uh, your drawing tablet with just a mouse, you might get some jittery sort of lines. Also, if you want to set the brush smoothening, you can set it to basic weighted and stabilized if you want to uh, just to get much more smoother results with your mouse still i won't recommend you to draw with this if you're using a mouse so the next tool is a line tool i would recommend you to use this basically whenever you're making straight and geometrical sort of shapes and lines i will definitely recommend it to use uh, while making vector sort of artwork so the next brush tool is a weighted brush tool this brush tool adds a sort of weight and drag to your strokes which makes them much more precise and clear so the last one is the freehand curve tool. This tool helps you to make curve shapes and even rectify some of your mistakes and jittery lines. Obviously, uh, it is a little hard to control to be very fair. I would recommend you to set its precision setting to curve and the scale to 0 0.50. Also, if you think you are interested in learning more about other tools of Krita, you can check out the first part of this video series in which I explain in depth all the tools you can use for creating digital artwork. So enough with that, uh, enough with all these brushes and let's get started with creating actual artwork using these uh, sort of brushes. Obviously you can use any brush tool uh, you feel comfortable to draw with. 
But in my case, I will be using the straight line tool for creating my jaw. By the way, don't hesitate to undo your mistakes by pressing Ctrl Z or redoing it by pressing the Shift Ctrl Z because this is the main privilege of uh, making art work digitally. And you should definitely properly utilize this privilege and uh, this will definitely help you a lot while making line artwork. For the shoulders and the ears of our character, I'm going to use the freehand curve tool. Just keep in mind that you don't overuse the mirror tool because we don't want the drawing to be perfectly symmetrical. So just turn it off. Similarly for your hair bangs, uh, you're going to use the freehand curve tool and trace it properly. So for our t-shirt neck hole, what we're going to do is we'll be creating a new layer like this. And we will draw a circle like this and make sure the fill color is set up to not filled. The advantage of drawing like this on separate layers is that whenever I try to erase it just like this, I don't have to worry about accidentally erasing anything else. And whatever I draw in this new layer will stick to it and if I make changes to the other layer, it won't show up in this one. Now in order to draw the face and other facial features, I'm going to use the same brush but with a smaller sort of size. For the eyebrows, I'm using the weighted brush tool uh, and just simply tracing it. And for the other eyebrow, I'm going to just select the original one with the free hand selection tool like this. And press Ctrl C and Ctrl V to duplicate this one on a separate layer, just like this. And use the transform tool to drag it and change its scale and rotation a little bit. So in order to fit it properly in our concept art. So for my eyes, I'm going to use the circle tool and we'll be drawing a lot of circles and erasing outline just like this. So for duplicating the eyeball now, we'll be using the same technique we used with our eyebrow. Uh, just the only difference is that we won't be making any changes in the scale or rotation. We just have to make it properly placed somewhere here. Just to make things a little bit more simpler and easier to understand, I will be merging both the new eyebrow and the eye layer together with our t-shirt sort of neck layer. Now you can use the similar small uh, sort of thin brush strokes for making your nose and the details on your face like this. And for our beard, uh, we will be using a unique and a different pencil tool. I basically forgot its name, but I'm pretty sure that's a default uh, sort of Krita brush. You don't have to actually uh, download it separately and you can just simply start drawing the beard lines just like this. So after you're done with that, uh, all of your line artwork, what you can do is you can press the little eye like icon on your concept art layer so that you can see the line artwork much more clearly. By the way, we are still not done with our line artwork because there are many jittery lines, many overlapping lines and some lines here and there which are just to be adjusted a little bit. Normally, I would advise you to draw this image entirely on a new canvas, on a new layer basically, with this one as a reference. But since this is a beginner friendly tutorial, so instead of that, what you can do is you can erase some of the lines and add some edges to it. And so that it gives a sort of a look that you have drawn this with a pressurized sort of drawing tablet. So yeah, this is it for today's video. If you like the video, press the subscribe button, turn on the notifications, even comment down if you have any video ideas, comments or suggestions. I'm always open to that. And yeah, like always, peace.